What's up, guys? Um, I just had a great opportunity. I was on a podcast with Locked On Podcast, and they have a podcast for each and every sport team. Go check them out if you're a Chiefs fan, you know, Raiders fan, Seahawks fan, Lakers fan. Like, it doesn't matter. They have a podcast, and those guys, um, the hosts, you know, make a podcast for each and every game with those teams. So, please go check them out. But me, I just had the chance to be a guest on Locked On Rockets, and uh, very exciting for me, especially because... Like I said, I've been following those podcasts. You know, these kind of opportunities are really big for myself. Like, this is kind of it's kind of what I like to do. You know, I, I like to collab with people, kind of bounce my ideas off of theirs. Um, you know, I like that stuff. I wish I was able to do more of that. And it's looking like I'm going to be start doing some more collabs, uh, both with my sports stuff and my geek stuff. So that's exciting stuff. Uh, we talked a lot about Russ, talked about James, you know, this Rockets offseason. Um it was a very good conversation. I really hope we can do it again. You know, it was my first one, so I was a little nervous. Um, you know, but I, I think I did it. You know, I think I did good and got my points across. Um, but again, I just wanted to say for you know for you guys, anybody who's been following this for a while, you've kind of seen me start this from nothing, and it's still you know still nothing now. But um, an opportunity like that, you just never know who's watching. This is somebody you know I follow, obviously locked on on Twitter and. Me and the host had had some back and forth just throughout the season. Maybe he commented on something I put or vice versa. And um, just he reached out and just said, you know, he wanted me to be on the pod. Um, and you just never know who's, who you're making an impression on, you know. Um, you know, I've been – this is not a shot in it, like in anything. This is just like talking about how you never know how it's going to happen, you know. I've uh, tried to collab with so many other people. I got one coming with just the facts. You know, hopefully we can, we can get that going at some point. I know that would be a dope collab, but – so many other concert creators you try to set I've tried to set things up with and to no one's fault uh, they haven't come about and for just my first one to be this kind of locked on experience is um pretty humbling man like just because again I hadn't uh, had an opportunity like this before I mean this is this is taking some jumps up uh, you know for me so hopefully uh, I made an impression on them we can continue to kind of have some some conversations moving forward talking about Russ talking about things um, Cause that's what I that's what I would love, you know, be able to reach that kind of audience, um, you know, the the Rockets fan base again. Houston's my second home. Like I, I, I love I would love that, you know, even if it was like a monthly thing, you know, just checking in on the Rockets or Russ, and that all depends on if Russ ends up staying with Houston. So even more so, I really want Russ to figure it out and stay in red, man. Stay in red. It's just the grass is not going to be greener unless you end up in L.A. There's no way that Russ is going to find himself in a better situation than he is right now in Houston, even though the fit with James Harden is not ideal basketball-wise. You know, there's some good things to it. There's some good things personality-wise. You know, them trying to hold each other accountable and that stuff. But the basketball fit isn't perfect. But even with that, the best thing for Russ is to be here. And even for the Rockets, like, you know, and even Jackson admitted that the best thing for the Rockets is trying to run this back with Russ. They're not going to get anything back that's going to make them – you know, a better team or have better title chances than they do with Russ and just kind of piecing the roster around with what they got now. So, again, excited for whatever's going to happen with Russ, but for myself, I was just excited for that opportunity, you know, uh, to talk with someone like that. Jackson's a good dude. Um, I'm just I'm excited. You know, I'm really excited. I'm sure some people are going to be, you know, surprised. Um uh, because there's a lot of, you know, Westbrook fans on Twitter or whatnot, right? Um, uh, you know, why was I chosen? People with more followers, you know, um, than me. You know, why weren't they chosen? And, I, you know, you just like I said, you never know who's watching. I pride myself on being the best Russell Westbrook fan. I think if you want to talk about Russell Westbrook, I think I'm the person you need to talk to. That's how I feel. You know, I'm just I'm just coming in the game. I don't, I don't um, you know... Um, I try to be reasonable about it. Like, I've never just been, like, on Twitter screaming that Russ is the best player in the game or, you know, that kind of stuff that really maybe uh, turns people off at times. I think I try to be fair while still being a fan of his. You heard my dogs there. Sorry about that. But, yeah, just all exciting stuff. Um, appreciate you guys watching this. You just kind of check in and just gets me excited for the content that's coming. Obviously, the Richmond Spider is about to kick things up. Hopefully that falls through. We got some bad news when I was recording that the Ivy League shut down their freaking winter sports. And you guys remember uh, when they shut down last time, the Ivy League was the first conference to shut things down. So when I saw that, that got me really scared. I'm not going to lie to you. Like Seeing the Ivy League shut down winter sports is not 
not very good. So, dogs are barking. I'm getting out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you watching.